everyone, I'm Rochelle with Originally Worn, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this magnetic home sign. But first, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, you can find us online under OriginallyWornOnline.com and under Originally Worn at Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Home Talk. For this video, I teamed up with Home Talk and Works Tools to show you their brand new tool called the Maker X. It's a multi-tool, it's got all these parts to it, and they're super cool. Uh, but know that the project and all the opinions are 100% my own. So let's go over this tool a little bit. We're going to be using about half of the parts of it, um, but it's really cool. And I know that it's coming out in store soon and that you can buy like the different parts or I believe the whole component. But what's fun about it is, so it comes with a cool carry case. And of course it's got like the battery charger and I'm 99% sure that other works tool batteries work with this tool. Then it has this separate thing here that this part attaches to your tool. And that way you don't have to like carry a battery along on say like this wood burner. Um, so your battery just literally pops, push that down, pops on and off there. Um, and then you can adjust kind of how much power is coming out of it for different tools right there and turn it on. Um, so let's say one was hooked up. Like again, this is the wood burning tool. Um, it comes with a ton of different tips, which is very neat, and this silicone protector. But on any of them, they have a bottom like this and here and you literally just line up the things doo, 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 and there you go and so this is all this very light of what you're gonna see we're gonna use this one actually uh, it's really light to use and easy then they also have an angle grinder that comes with um, a couple different types of wheels in here and you can adjust this part by taking the screws out and then you pop this part out to put the different wheels in and it comes with the tools and the wheels for that too this is my favorite one this is a airbrusher so this is where the compressed air is in and then you put the paint in here and push like this little toggle back and forth and it sprays it out we're going to be doing this towards the end of the tutorial so it's pretty exciting like I said wood burner this is like a rotary tool, kind of, you know, similar to something like a Dremel. I do know that it also is compatible with those different uh, types of tips and accessories that you would have for your Dremel. So if you have those already, you can certainly use them with this. And they also come with a bunch of their own. And another really fun thing that I've wanted for a long time, um, I didn't actually end up using it in this project, but I've used it around our house for other projects, is a heat gun. If you are at all into like pouring resin or getting sticky crap off stuff, which is what I used it for, the heat gun is a must. But let's get started actually making the project now. The first thing we're gonna need to do is cut out our piece of metal that's gonna go in the back of the frame. I've measured out what size I need. Um, I'm using just a piece of sheet metal and the angle grinder. So here we have the piece of steel we're gonna cut and I've already marked off the lines that I'm gonna cut off to fit in my frame. And you can see I actually have a works table here that's got like a groove cut in it that I can put my blade through. But if you don't have that, you can hang it off the edge. And then I have mine clamped down here with my works clamps. So here is my angle grinder all hooked up and I'm simply just going to push the power button, turn it on max and start cutting. This also can, but when you take the blade off, um, you can spin this part around. piece of metal it's certainly not perfect because I'm pretty new at doing any sort of metal cutting but it will go inside of our frame and it won't matter one bit the next step we're gonna do is actually to make our wooden frame um, I have this frame 
from extras. I think I got it from Frame USA. Uh, there's lots of places you can get just a plain wooden frame from, but that's what we're gonna be working on. And we're gonna wood burn it first, and then we're gonna seal it with dark wax. The first thing we're gonna do to our frame is to put our lines across there with this wood burning tool. This tool also works for soldering. Um, see, I've attached it here. And then I've turned it on, on my base, and it's set to max. And then I'm gonna turn it on here and it's at 900 degrees, which is the highest. Um, that's what I have it set on because that's what I've used it at. Different woods will require different type of settings. Um, and then it also has all these different tips, like I said, that go with it, different shapes. This one I'm using actually I think is meant for shading, but I found it made lines really well. But be careful, this thing gets super duper duper hot. Once this is reaches, reaches its temperature though, we're gonna start with doing our lines here. And I have this metal ruler, um, or kind of, I think it's a plum square, um, just in my stash. You could use any ruler, you could draw something freehand, whatever works for you. It just worked really well for me to get these diagonal lines you know, at a consistent angle. So I have it lined up there. I'm gonna press down and it is slower than writing with. So even if I speed up this video, realize that it's not as fast as you would write with. It's, I mean, it's a slower process. Some people find it very therapeutic of course, the longer you hold it somewhere, the darker it gets at that point. And I am a super beginner wood burner. Um, I have friends that make amazing things with this kind of tool, but it's, that's not me. So this is definitely for the beginner, beginner wood burner. I'm using Annie Sloan Dark Wax as my stain for this frame. Reason being is that you don't have to do any extra steps. It's, it's one layer, one time. Now it does get messy, hence the gloves. Um, you can put it right over where you wood burned and it'll kind of get in there and it's super wonderful. So you just kind of work this stuff into the wood all around and then when you have it kind of where you want it take a blue shop towel and just wipe off the excess and literally you're done no top coat other than this needed it actually is the top coat it's wax in there it's just pigmented wax um, and look how cool it is when it comes to that wood burning tool and the dark wax together. I love it. Next, we're gonna use glazer points. Um, I actually think they're for windows uh, to put our metal in our frame. So we're gonna flip it back and you could certainly wax back here if you wanted I just didn't because it's just gonna go in my house and like I said I did a rough cut 
Uh, but we're gonna push this in there. Once your metal is placed, take the pointy part of your points there and kind of start to work them in the frame. I found a flat screwdriver, helps a ton for this. So you can hopefully see there where he is. I'm gonna go around and do this all around. Probably, you know, one more here and here, and maybe two on each end, depending on how badly I cut my piece of metal here. <laughs> Did it a little bit off, but that's okay, because it doesn't really matter when we flip it over. There you have it, all done and in there securely. Um, on to the next step. Here are the letters I'm using for the sign. I cut them out with my uh, laser cutter, but you can certainly find them at most craft apartments and like a Walmart type store or Hobby Lobby um, and get you know any letters that you want in any style. And I've also attached magnets to the back of them so that they can be taken off of our sign when we don't want that on there, we wanna do something else. Here's what I'm most, most, most excited about is this Majestic paint sprayer. Um, the reason I'm most excited about it is because not only is this kind of lightweight, um, this is where you plug your power into, by the way, and this actually comes off separately and then it pops back on there. Um, the reason I'm most excited though about this is because every time I buy spray paint, I use it once and then it's clogged again and it makes me super mad to waste that much money on spray paint. And then I really like the look and the color sometimes of like a matte acrylic paint, which they don't make all those colors in spray paint. So this is your perfect solution for that. Plus I've seen so many people do cakes and stuff with it. It's so cool. Um, so I've mixed up and found someone online. They do make special um, paints for airbrush things, but I've mixed up a, a acrylic paint and water. And I used the color green ivy or English ivy green um, from Apple Barrel, just kind of a nice farmhouse green. And it comes with this little syringe thing. So what we're gonna do is pop the cap off of our paint gun take our syringe, suck up some of my already pre-mixed paint and load it up. And you need a teeny, teeny bit. And um, like I said, it was a two ounce thing of craft acrylic paint to one and a half tablespoons of water mixed together. And that's the ratio. You can get it a little bit thinner and it'll spray a little bit better but then at the same time, you get it too thin and you get a too watery of a project. So I've now have my gun loaded. Right here is a dial. That dial can change of how fast it comes out. And then this, you push down and pull back. So I'll turn my power source on, see, but nothing is coming out yet till I push down and back on this. And it's light mist, so it'll be hard to see at first, but it does happen. I'll try to do it over here. So I'll push down and then back. See how it came out? And we'll just start to slowly work over our project. It's not quite as fast coming out as like a spray paint would be, but it does get a, give a really beautiful fine mist overall co coverage and it doesn't goop up and build like spray paint does. And you can really do some artistic stuff with it. A lot of shading and blending and stuff like that. Of course, if you get closer, it's gonna have a more fine detailed line. You pull farther away, it's gonna be more of a mist. Another reason I love this tool is because it doesn't have overspray like spray paint would so i'm not worried about it getting on any of my other tools or equipment here in my studio today also it doesn't smell so i can do this right in the house and the kids are right next door it doesn't doesn't matter at all
To clean this gun, uh, simply dump your extra paint out into your jar and then go to your sink and run water through it till it runs clear. And then it comes with a little brush and you can take this tip off and kind of clean in there. Now, getting it clean is super important. You don't want to have hardened paint left in there. So now we're going to put it all together. I'm using a Christmas wreath this time and my magneted letters. So I'll just start placing them. But I also wanted to show you something. If you didn't care about the fact that this is magnets or your wreath is really super skinny and doesn't really have a great place for them, like in this aspect, we're simply just going to get out our hot glue guns and put a couple little dabs and put it on our wreath. Hot glue him in there. A couple dabs in its highest spots and it still should be able to pop off if you need it to but it'll also stay and you can of course change this out uh, for every season or take these off all together when you want to put something else on there well there you have it uh, i hope you enjoyed this project as much as i did making it you can see here our Christmassy one or our winter one and then our fall one or Thanksgiving one um, Of course, whatever wreath you want to do there whatever colors whatever design I hope this just inspired you to make something uh, cool and fun Also, thanks to home talk and works tools for letting me play around with these super cool new tools be sure to find them at your local retailer and check them out yourself. Also, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also find us online at originallywornonline.com and under Originally Worn on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and now Home Talk. Happy painting.